Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be going over the Insignia Fire TV Edition and this one is the 24 inch LED TV and it is 720p but it does come with the voice remote with Alexa and you can stream all of your favorite apps and stuff straight through your device and it's also completely uh, Alexa compatible and has Alexa built in as you can see right here at the very bottom. So I'm very excited to actually check out this TV as well because I have a lot of Amazon uh, Echo devices. So let's go ahead and open up the box, take a look at the television and go over a little bit more of what capabilities and features that it holds with inside of it. Now, like I was saying a little bit earlier, this is the Insignia, but it is also the F20 series and I'm not really quite sure what that means but it also has dts true surround sound and i don't i also do not know what that means but we're going to find that out a little bit later as i go over the key features and details a little bit more in depth as for now let's go ahead and check out the actual screen quality although it's 720p i want to give you guys an opportunity to take a look at it and we'll look at the overall functionality right quick so let's go ahead and jump into it and i'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the box Now let's start the installation process and go ahead and place our stand onto our television and then we'll go ahead and turn it on and take a look at the actual screen resolution so bear with me and stay tuned for the rest of the video and I got you. Alright guys after what I would consider a very long and strenuous process the insignia stand is officially attached to the TV so we're good there. Now let's go ahead and plug in the actual TV and let's go ahead and connect it and see exactly what it looks like now let's go ahead and grab our remote up and we're going to use all the controls via our remote in order to set up our television and get everything rocking and rolling let's go ahead and press the plus button or the action button and the action button is right directly in the center of the actual spool so let's go ahead and continue all right now since we have downloaded the update and everything is ready to go the fire tv is actually starting to reboot and we're starting to be looking like we're actually moving now it has literally been about 20 25 minutes in pure update so this is actually taking a really long time so this is one downfall i can definitely state of the insignia fire tv but it's probably because it's got the fire built in and that it's got to actually do all the downloading and make sure that it's got the latest version of Alexa and everything like that uh, connected. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like this video, and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about today's video, negative or positive, because I know a lot of you guys are going to be negative with me as well. Because, of course, my videos are definitely not the best of quality. I need some help with my structuring and haven't really gotten it down pat yet. But I assure you, I definitely will. So stay tuned for more of my real life unboxings. Awesome, guys. Finally, after about 25, 30 minutes of updates, here we actually are at the place where we can select our experience, access the content that we love, and control it with Alexa. We have the ability to choose from live TV, thousands of channels, apps, and Alexa skills, over 1 million movies and TV episodes, Alexa voice control and search, and you can also sign in or sign up for a free Amazon account as well. And these are some of the streaming services that you can actually have on the television and use with Alexa built into the actual Fire TV. So let's go ahead and choose our experience. I'm going to go ahead and select full. And that is what is recommended. So that's what I'm going to do. And then now I'm going to also sign into my Amazon account. So we can actually log in and log out and be synced in with all of my other Alexa devices. So it will be very easy and everything will be very cohesive. So let's go ahead and do that and I will be right back with you guys. And then once you log in, it will welcome you just like so. Welcome Real Life Unboxing. This TV will be registered to your account change account or you can continue I'm gonna go ahead and press continue I actually about reached up and tried to touch the screen because I'm so used to using my touchscreen computer <laughs> save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon I'm not gonna be doing any of that it's gonna be a no 
It's going to be a hard no there, Chief. Don't want to be saving any of that there, Chief. Checking for backups? Oh my goodness, guys. I'm ready to stream, right? I'm ready to get some Spotify going on this beast. All right, your TV is designed with kids and parents in mind. Parental controls allow you to require a pin before playing content from Amazon Video or over-the-air live TV, launching apps, purchasing digital content, or using the Amazon Shopping app to purchase physical products from Amazon. You can review and update your parental control settings anytime via settings, preferences, and then parental controls. Fire TV parental controls do not apply to voice purchasing with Alexa. You can control your voice purchasing settings, including by requiring a speakable confirmation code using the Alexa app or at alexa.amazon.com. So let's go ahead and put no parental controls just because my son is really not old enough. Neither one of them are old enough to um, mess with the TV anyway. They're not going to be anywhere near it. And even if they are, they're not going to be around it long enough to get a hold of anything, really, because we watch them uh, like a hawk, even though I'm in here filming at 3.48 in the morning. But uh, Prime Monthly as well. Uh, I actually do already have Prime, so I don't need to sign up for the Prime Monthly. It's no, uh, nobody's, I don't need to sign up for that. I'm good. Choose your streaming services. I'm going to go ahead and choose No Thanks. Just because, like I said, it is 3.48 in the morning and I'm getting very tired. Introducing the all-new Fire TV experience. There is a new main menu that lets you easily find new content, play live TV, and access your favorite apps. You can also decide what to watch with Find. That is your new destination to search and discover movies, TV shows, apps, free content, and more. You can also personalize Fire TV with profiles, create up to six profiles for personalized recommendations, watch list, viewing history, and more. Easily set up kids' profiles with Amazon Kids to provide access to worry-free, family-friendly content. Let's go ahead and press got it. Go ahead and add real life unboxing. And that is who is watching the Amazon Fire TV. All right, now welcome Real Life Unboxing. Now we are at the home. Let's see how responsive this actually is. Wow. Almost instantaneous. Boom. 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 Luna. Oh my goodness. I can pull up Luna and game directly off the TV with no console. What? What? We'll just download that. Okay. I can get some gaming in, guys. That is awesome. I want to get more stuff. Hurry up. Let me move. Let me do something. But overall, by the way, the actual screen quality does not look 720p. Now, like four years ago, I bought two 1080p televisions that I still currently have in my living room and my bedroom. And neither one of them have as vibrant and beautiful pixels like this one does. So I'm absolutely amazed with the actual screen quality and couldn't be more pleased with my actual purchase. For $99, I cannot beat it, and I'm sure whatever it is right now shouldn't be too much higher, and I'm sure you guys could find a great deal on this TV, and it could possibly fit for you guys as well. So that's why I decided to review it, and in my opinion, it's definitely a 9 or 10 out of 10 for the real life review, and uh, definitely a great suggestion. So if you guys would like to purchase this TV, I will be leaving links down in the description for you guys to check it out for your very self. So definitely check it out if you guys would like to. I do want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Real Life Unboxing for more products with real life applications. Smash that notification bell to stay up to date on our newest uploads. And as always, keep it real.